set, go! I know that you're confused with the sudden switch up, but I felt that it was my duty to report that Sonic R is not like Doom Eternal at all. But you know what is like Doom Eternal? Id Studio, the answer to our four year long prayer for there to be official mod support for Doom Eternal. During QuakeCon, a number of announcements were made for Doom, a re-release of Doom 1 and 2 with new additional content, and even cross-play for both PC players and console owners. Doom The Dark Ages was shown behind the scenes for certain individuals to see, which means that soon we'll be seeing more gameplay footage, which I'm really keen for. But Doom Eternal's id Studio software for me has been the biggest news, because it was exactly what Doom Eternal needed to solidify its namesake. Prior to this news, I was planning on doing a video of why I played Doom 2 more than any other game in the series. I had mentioned Doom Eternal's limited modding capability, but now that is irrelevant, and there's a huge gap in my points, and therefore I decided to shift my attention towards Doom Eternal's modding scene that's now going to skyrocket to new planes. I played a lot of Doom Eternal over the years, and it's always been a game I could always retreat to whenever I couldn't think of anything else to play, and to be honest, the same could be said for any of the other Doom games, including the classics. Id Studio's existence though is not only an exciting prospect for existing modders, but is also the best gift Id Software and Bethesda could have given us for Doom Eternal. I was disappointed when Doom 2016's snap map didn't transfer over to Doom Eternal, however this is a far better alternative than we could have ever hoped for. It's also a great way for Id Software to send off Doom Eternal with the proper respect that it deserves, where they're now leaving it up to the community to keep the game alive while they move on to the next game. In the past, we've had modified versions of the official levels, weapons, slayer skins, as well as a few other mods like the randomizer and the infinite arena mode mod, but due to not having full access to the game's assets and resources, there was only so much modders could do to really bring out Doom Eternal's modding capabilities. Now with id Studio, we'll be able to get so much more out of the game, even to the point of creating entirely new content for the game. You have id Studio itself that you can download, which is quite large, but you get access to all of the resources and assets for Doom Eternal, which you can then use to modify what's already there. With it, the modding capabilities have been expanded to greater degrees, and because of the access to those assets and resources, you'll also be able to modify and add new stuff, which means that in time, we may end up with entirely new enemies, weapons, maps, as well as additional changes to gameplay, but on a more fundamental level. I have to emphasize how important modding is for these type of games. Some of the most popular games that are still played to this day that have existed for years have had their playtime infinitely extended because of the modding scene alone. It's why people still play Doom 2, because of the vast array of modding tools and content that has been produced for it over the decades. With id Studio, people now have the means to create an infinite pool of content and experiences that can extend Doom Eternal to greater heights. For those that just want to play the game with mods, it's easier than ever before, due to having an official mod launcher. And for those that are concerned about having to download id Studio itself, it is not necessary. It's only for people who intend to make mods for the game. Once you've signed into the new launcher, you then have access to a selection of mods on the mod page. Don't worry too much about the small number of mods for the moment, it's bound to get bigger with each passing day, and even hour, and already we have two custom maps for this game, changes to gameplay, game modes, new difficulty modes with conditions placed, weapons and slayer skins, and modified levels, you name it. All you have to do is download the mod of interest, drag it into your load order, and you're done. Some games require a lot more fuckery to get modding to work with a game, but id Software have made it as easy as possible to enjoy a modded experience, and that's exactly how it should be for the player. On Nexus mods, you already have a number of mods for Doom Eternal, but over time they will get ported over to the new launcher. This is the best news that I've had last week, and Doom Eternal fans are finally eating good. I'm happy for the game. I really am. It really is eternal now. I just hope that they also consider applying id Studio to Doom 2016 and give the game its flowers as well, since it was the game to resurrect the franchise after so many years. Either way, this is amazing news for Doom Eternal, and is going to give us more hours than in our lifetime. Depending on what ends up in the store, I'll cover projects of interest down the track that come onto the store, which means more Doom Eternal videos along the way. I also have other games sent to me that I want to talk about as well, as well as a number of other interests that I have. 
So plenty of stuff for me to look forward to making and covering. So yeah, Doom 2 players can't really use the mod argument anymore because Doom Eternal now has the means to also mod to its fullest thanks to the studio software. Sure, there is the matter of the source code, and that does open up a lot more possibilities, including the making of entirely new games with source ports. Id Software is highly unlikely to release the source code for Doom Eternal anytime soon though, but the existence of Id Studio and what it offers is a fantastic start and as I could say a million times over, Doom Eternal finally has official mod support and Doom Eternal is truly eternal. Never thought I would make my 300th video on YouTube about Doom Eternal mod support. Hell of a surprise if you ask me. And also this may shift the balance between my thoughts on whether Ultra Kill or Doom Eternal will take the position as being my favorite FPS out of the two. That game already has an unofficial modding community and it's fantastic and underrated. But we may also get official mod support in Act 3, or at the very least, a level editor. Excited to see that as well if it comes along. I will be looking at both games when that time comes and if it comes. But until then, I will be ripping and tearing in Doom Eternal, eternally, with mods.